I'm Benjamin Oberman with Film Festival Flicks, and I'm here at the NoHo Cinefest with my fellow sponsors, Nancy and Tim Sexton, with The Muse Rooms. How are you both? Really good, really good. Pretty fantastic. This is a great event, and it's here in our backyard, which so is your business. Tell us about The Muse Rooms. Well, we're the first shared co-working space in North Hollywood, and we're kind of like the alternative to working out of a coffee shop or at home if you've got kids or a loud roommate or you just can't really focus and all of our members say the number one reason why they come there is because our facility like increases their productivity by like 90 95 percent they get so much more done in the amount of time that they're there and it's so cost beneficial for them that it really does cost like five bucks a day to come to our space that's great that's i mean you can't be a starbucks for that yeah, no, it's, 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 a, it's a great space where definitely um, there's a number of co-working spaces in the city, um, but a lot of them really uh, fit into a normal office space. And so what we have done is we've really focused more on a creatively conducive environment. So we have a bunch of different areas that our uh, members work out of, including a nice couch living room setup. We have a window bar with stools. We have traditional desks. Um, but all in all, we, we really wanted to, to push that creative space that really conduces to the uh, cre creative uh, process. Yeah, so. yeah. Now, as a creative outlet, do you have computers that are loaded with software, editing bay, screening rooms, or is it really just you're creating the environment and people bring their own? Yeah, no, exactly. We, we don't have computers or anything like that. Everybody has, like, if you're a creative person, you don't want to walk into a scenario where you're hitting someone else's computer unless you are in an edit bay but we don't have edit bays or sound bays or anything like that yet <laughs> yeah yet um our facility is really just um you choose where you want to sit and most of our most of our members they come in and they unload their stuff they pick where they their main place to sit but then they walk around they move around they lay down they they move to a couch they go to a counter they stand up they sit down because when you're a creative you're not stuck at a desk and we don't want anyone to ever feel like you just are stuck at a desk so you have that ability to be able and and the flexibility to be able to go to the kitchen maybe have a conversation really quick with somebody you haven't seen or they're working on a project or I mean, it's really it's really awesome and just it's all these creative minds coming together and I mean unlike a Starbucks you don't have anyone um, Oh, look, they're, they're clapping for that. <laughs> um, unlike a Starbucks, you don't have anyone who is just waiting on you to leave a table. There's no pressure. And it's just uh, so many uh, collaborative minds and like-minded people working together. It's really cool. Now, has anybody gotten so comfortable that they've come in their pajamas or bathrobe? <laughs> no, but if they did, I wouldn't say anything about it. I mean, what do I care? <laughs> well, as long as the bathroom stays closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> So, so what was it? What was the motivation behind creating this? Well, I'm a writer, and uh, my we're husband. Both writers, we're both writers, yeah. And I, I knew of the business model, and I was familiar with it, and I knew that there was a there was a hole in the market in North Hollywood, and I lived in Manhattan during the resurgence of the Lower East Side, and and you know, and watched all the gentrification happen there. And I've lived in North Hollywood for almost 12 years, and I've seen the gentrification happen. And I was like, I want to be a part of that movement. I missed it in Manhattan. I want to be part of it here. And it's just really awesome to be part of something that is going to be really badass, and everybody wants to be, you know, everybody wants to be in it. It's, it's cool. Well, that's great. So how do people find out? How do they join? Where can they come physically to uh, experience the Muse Rooms? Well, we vet every person, and so you have to come in for a free trial day because we have to make sure that you're not crazy and that, and that, we, and that your work style and your, and your actual job works with our environment and that we work with yours because we don't want anyone to be disappointed. I mean, that doesn't help anyone. So you come in for a free trial day, and then we have a lot of different memberships that you can choose from. It's very simple. Great. And is there a website people can look up? Absolutely. www.themuserooms.com. Excellent. Well, great. Well, you know, everyone out there, be sure to come in for your free trial. Make sure you fit in and uh, get creative. And, it, you know, it's good in this town. You need to be a little weird to be creative, but, 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 you, but you, you can't be too weird. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, everybody has their thing. It's just, yeah. 
yeah, don't be too weird. <laughs> All right. Well, well, thank you so much for your support tonight, for coming out, and for uh, creating this here in North Hollywood. No, oh, thanks for talking to us. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. For free films and exclusive invites, join our email list at filmfestivalflix.com forward slash email. And follow us on social media with Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. In your home or on the go, we bring the festival to you.